<sighs> Hi all, Kraken Latte here. As of this video, patch 925 and the Dragonflight pre-patch are on the horizon, both of which are packed with some juicy changes. Plus, it's nearing the end of the Shadowlands expansion. All of that combined has created an intense list of things that I want to get accomplished before the launch of Dragonflight, whenever that is. So why don't I share what I'm working on with you? You just might be inspired, or think I'm crazy. Both is good. Since that list is a bit intensive, I don't want to just rush through it, throw a list at you, and then leave you uninformed. Instead, I aim to give you tips on how to do what I'm doing. So here's my mini-series on preparing for Dragonflight. Patch 925 is the beginning of a new era for World of Warcraft in a major way. For the first time ever, the Horde and the Alliance will truly be able to work together with cross-faction play. That said, the cross-faction features coming initially will be mainly limited to instanced content, which includes raids, dungeons, and other similar scenarios. Cross-faction is not yet a thing for guilds or for open-world play, though you will be able to make cross-faction communities and group up with cross-faction before entering your instances. All that is seriously exciting, but as you may know, I retired from competitive content, so it doesn't affect me directly too much. That doesn't mean I'm not excited for the future of cross-faction, though. You know more will be coming. There is one thing out of all of this that deeply affects me, though, despite how seemingly small it is. Cross-faction mailing. That's right, you'll be able to mail any items that are not BOP, from gold to mats to BOEs, to your alts of both factions, so long as they're on the same server. Why is this so important? I no longer have to keep gold and loot so separate. I can just have one giant pool of stuff. Horde alts need gliders from my Alliance guild bank? Mail it! Alliance needs gold from my Horde alts? Mail it! The mail system is going to be hella clogged with my stuff until they finally make cross-faction guilds, man, but either way, this is going to be so nice. Now, this is server restricted, of course, and if you've seen my past videos, I have pointed out that I have my Horde and Alliance characters on two separate servers because, well, there was really no point in having them all in one. They couldn't share loot outside of buying non-account items or taking a gold loss from the auction house method. Well, now that doesn't matter because they will be able to share loot. No gold loss required. So this changes things. As you may have seen in other videos, I've previously had all of my Alliance alts on Moonguard and all of my Horde alts on Wormrest Accord. The RP and faction balance is better for those respective factions. However, I had to pick a favorite server if I was to merge my team. Moonguard. I've been there since... Uh, a long time. I don't even remember when I started there. At least several expansions now. So that meant it was time to uproot all of my horde alts and do the dreaded mass transfer. <sighs> On the bright side, Blizzard knows what's up though. They know the changes they're about to make and so they likely anticipated mass transfers like this. So they've recently made new bundle packs of transfers that you can buy, which will save you a lot of money compared to the ungodly $25 for one. You can still buy the single transfer for that same price, but you can buy them in packs now, which huzzah <laughs> is so nice. Where was this like five years ago? Anyway, yes, I did pay with real money. But my bestie Canary helped me out with it too, as a birthday gift. <laughs> She's the best. You could do this with gold too, since you can buy gold and transfer that into Blizzard bucks on their account. But good grief, I have way too many Horde alts for that. I would be here till three Christmases from now gold farming. <laughs> And yes, I know I blew a lot of money here, and this is certainly not something you all have to do if you have a lot like I do, but I am also strongly anticipating cross-faction guilds in the future, maybe even in Dragonflight. I mean, that's kind of the next step from here, right? And that's really all I want out of this. All 
of my alts in one guild. So as I see this as a long-term investment because I'm not ever quitting this game. Either it dies or I do. <laughs> However morbid that sounds. And I'm sure you've noticed I've been speaking in the past tense. Yes, I am actually already done with this goal. Woo! But I wanted to share it with you anyway, since it is a very big change and it was a goal I wanted to get done before Dragonflight launches. Because from now on, any time I talk about alts and servers in another video, I will be recommending you put them all in the same realm. All of my reasons for telling you to keep them separate before doesn't matter. There's no reason not to now that golden items will be cross-faction mailable, which to me is a serious game changer. And we don't know what the future of cross-faction is going to be. Maybe we will be able to play with Horde and Alliance in the open world zones one day. You know, together. With quests and stuff. So all the more reason you're going to want to have those characters all in the same realm. So I'm thinking future terms here. I want to be prepared. Since, after all, that's what these goal videos are about. Preparation. I want to make sure that I am as prepared as possible for all of the huge changes coming in the future. All the new lore that's going to come out, all the cross-faction changes, all the system changes, new MOG being added. It's going to be intense. And that is all the more reason why I want all of my Horde and Alliance alts now, more than ever, on the same server. So. Even if you don't want to transfer your characters and you want to keep them across various servers, or because, you know, maybe it's too expensive for you, <laughs> understandable, no judging, well, at least you now know my take on it, and I will be recommending that you make new alts of both factions on the same server. And besides, like I talked about in the previous goal, we may be able to both use, as both factions, the crafting order system. And that's another thing. You might be able to fuel yourself with your own alts on both factions. How cool would that be? So trust me, the, the, the options just go on and on and on and I could be here all day ranting about it. So <laughs> uh, do I sound too excited? Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> I'm just really glad this goal is done. I, yeah, I might be a little too excited. And there we have it. If you think I've missed information or you want to request I do a specific guide, let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte.